Hello guys, this is Smeta and this is the third part of the tutorial of how to make a word processor in Visual Basic or VB.net. Okay, now we have to add the toolbar and the ribbon bar, okay? First of all, let's add the toolbar. Go to the menus and drag and drop the command bar also known as toolbar now go to your visual studio directory or visual basic and this this directory and click common seven and image library okay and just extract it I will pause the video in here because it takes long to extract ok extraction finish now open that file image library and let's search for our let's search a good images Okay, this one is good. So click form bar button and choose the image which is on your Visual Studio directory. Now this will be the new file or new project okay so we will choose something like that let's see okay let's choose this one okay and click okay Okay, this pink thing is not looking good. Let us see that it disappears or not. No, it doesn't. Uh, this is very strange. Okay, we'll change it to Let me see. Okay, this one looks good. I didn't spot it earlier. Let let us choose this new folder ages and click OK. That's better. Now drag and drop a tooltip and name it. Help text and choose the background color, uh, something like red. Now click the rack command bar one and name it button new project. Sorry, new file.
and text new file and oops I have made a mistake let me oh no I should have done this but instead I done this oh no okay let me change back to it now what was that that common bar one okay just set it to default and click this common bar button one and name it button new new file and change the text to new file and the tool shift text to new file and also display name to new file so that's it for this tutorial